Hey, what's up everybody, Retro Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to expand your file system on RetroPie. And the funny thing about this is, oftentimes people don't even realize that this is the root cause of some other issues they're experiencing on RetroPie. Some of those issues may be you're going in and you're trying to scrape data for different games that you've added or different game collections you've added and you're going through the scraping process but nothing is actually adding in. You've gone through and updated your game list but nothing is adding in. Sometimes people get an error message that basically says you're running out of space on your uh, SD card or whatever you're using to run RetroPie, but oftentimes you don't even get that error message. So it just leaves people super frustrated because they don't know what the heck is going on. Another issue that people run into a lot is they're trying to pair or map new controllers and they're going through the process and they're going through, let's say you have a Bluetooth gamepad controller, you're connecting through Bluetooth, everything's going smooth, you go to map it, everything goes smooth there, it's mapped, you're able to advance through your game collections, but when you jump into a game, all of a sudden, all your mappings are gone, and you no longer have any control over the game that you've just dove into. So this is another issue where if you're running out of space on your file system, this can be something that happens to you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go about fixing this issue, and this is going to fix it as long as, of course, you do have space available on your file system. Oftentimes, we do have a lot of open space. I just had an image recently, it was 512 gigabytes. It had 32 gigabytes wide open, so it was by no means maxed out. It could certainly handle new controllers being added in, um, scraped data coming in, all that stuff, but none of it was working. So we're gonna dive into this. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. It's literally the simplest fix possible, but again, a lot of people just don't know that this simple fix can solve so many other problems. So. We'll dive into it and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so here we are into our RetroPie image. So from here, you wanna navigate into your configuration options. Now this is gonna look different from theme to theme or build to build. So typically it's going to be your collection that has either Raspberry Pi or RetroPie logo on it. In this case, with this particular theme, we have both. So we're going to go ahead and select this option. You can select this with either a keyboard or with a gamepad controller. So if you have a gamepad controller, just go ahead and hit A, that's gonna open this up. From here, we're gonna navigate down to RasPi Config, which is about just below halfway down. We'll select A to open that up as well. It's gonna load in for a couple seconds and we're gonna go down to Advanced Options, which is just below halfway. We'll go ahead and select that. And now right at the top, you're going to see the option that reads expand file system. We're going to go ahead and select that. It's going to advance to that screen real quick. And then it's gonna give us this prompt that reads boot partition has been resized. So we're gonna go ahead now and just confirm that by hitting okay. And now we're going to drop all the way down and navigate down to finish. So you may have to go all the way down this list. This always confuses people. So you'll go down with your D-pad or arrow keys if you're on a keyboard. And if you continue trying to go down, you're gonna notice that you no longer advance down this list. So you have to go arrow key right or D-pad right, and that's gonna drop you down to the bottom. And we're gonna just go over here and highlight finish. So enter or A on your gamepad controller or keyboard, whichever you're using. And now it's gonna say, would you like to reboot now? We're going to confirm yes. That's just gonna reboot our system and that's going to put those changes into effect. So we're gonna go ahead and select yes. All right, so I just rebooted RetroPie, came back to my main menu here, which highlights the configuration options again. And now your file system has been expanded. So now you should be able to go in and do whatever you were trying to do before where you were running into the issue. So if you were having issues with Bluetooth where your gamepad controller was connecting but then cutting out or not connecting at all, or you were trying to scrape data for your game collections and nothing was actually populating in, or maybe you were even lucky enough to get a error message that most of us don't even get that actually tells you that you're out of space on your particular build or SD card, whatever you're using. So hopefully this fixed it for you. If you guys have any questions or you've run into problems that have continued after following this quick tutorial here, then go ahead and hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you're struggling with and I'll try to give you a hand as best I can. But that's going to do it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button on the video. It's a huge help here on YouTube. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's going to do it for today. Yet again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.